Blue Jays fans are furious following another absolutely heartbreaking loss against the Detroit Tigers in a game that saw the Jays absolutely choke after going up 11 to 9 off of Dalton Varsho home run. Fans are coming out and are very upset about the team. They're calling for Ross Atkins' head. They're calling for John Schneider's head. And John Schneider might be on the hot seat. So I'm going to break all that down in this episode of Jays Digest. Before we do, if you're a part of the 70 or so percent who are not subscribed, make sure to hit that subscribe button. It would mean the world to Peter and myself. But yeah, thank you guys for your continued support. And let's get right into it today. Quite frankly, the Jays are in a very, very rough spot. It's no secret that yesterday's loss was heartbreaking. It was brutal. They were down as much as five-plus runs. They come back with the Dalton Varsho bomb, and then they ended up choking the game off of Jordan Romano. A bit of a disaster class by Jordan Romano. He's having quite the rough season so far, but... Today has been a very rough day for Jays fans. The day after the big loss, we're going to get into a lot of it now, and it kind of starts with some articles that are being published calling for John Schneider's head. So you can see here, Blue Jays are in a bad spot after blowing series finale versus the Tigers. And this was an article that was posted basically highlighting how rough of a spot the Toronto Blue Jays are in right now because the media is going after John Schneider. The fans are going after John Schneider. Everyone seems to be going after John Schneider and especially Ross Atkins as well. And and this is another article posted saying Blue Jays frustration mounts after hitting a new low in Detroit. And a new low is exactly the way I would put it if you're a Toronto Blue Jays fan. We're all Toronto Blue Jays fans. This is, like I made a video yesterday, absolute rock bottom for the Toronto Blue Jays. Because quite frankly, there's no worse spot to be in than in the middle. And right now the Jays, they're not even in the middle. They are not even fighting. Obviously, they're technically still fighting for a playoff spot. But the position they're in right now is is brutal. It is about as bad as it gets if you're the Toronto Blue Jays, and it, it just, it's very saddening. You look at their some of their stats here, we're going to get into some of their like advanced analytics a little bit later, and we're also going to get into some of the players speaking out on the absolute disaster that was yesterday's ball game. but players are upset, but they're still optimistic, and when you're looking at some of the stats here, you can see their offensive game is very, very brutal. I'll make it bigger for you guys so you can see here. So 40, they're 46th, or the 23rd in the league with home runs with 46. Quite frankly, that is unacceptable. The Jays have not been hitting for power. They're supposed to be one of the best power hitting teams. You look back to 2021 when their hitting was absolutely phenomenal. Now you're looking at it and it was absolutely not phenomenal. Bottom 20th percentile in the league. So it's very, very rough. And you're just looking at all these out of 30 teams in the league, they're 23rd in home runs, they're 25th in runs, they're 26th in strikeouts, they're 24th in pitching. The offense hasn't been good, the bullpen's been terrible, the only silver lining is starting pitching, but that is brought down by the absolutely atrocious bullpen that we've had so far this season. And you look at some of the just the overview of the stats here, and you look at the last schedule against the Detroit Tigers. We, me, Peter and I made a video on this, and coming into the season, we were really hope or into this series, sorry, we were really hoping that the Jays we're going to be able to go on a huge run, a massive run, maybe even sweep the White Sox, which we didn't do. Not sweep the Tigers, maybe take three to four against the Tigers would have put us in a pretty good spot. That also ultimately is not going to happen as we lost. We didn't take three to four. We lost three to four against a Detroit Tigers team who came in. They were playing okay, but the Jays were supposed to take care of business and they failed to do so once again. And when you're looking at the batting stats, I keep bringing it up. They're last in almost every hitting category. You look at the pitching stats, they're last in a lot of categories. And it just goes to show how rough a spot the Jays are currently in. And why fans are so upset. You look at the divisional standings, this is no surprise to Jays fans. They're right now last in the AL East. Two and a half games back of fourth place. Twelve and a half games back of the division. Coming into the season, we were hoping that the division would be within reach. It is not looking like it's going to be within reach. It looks like a wild card spot is going to be a struggle for this team to get over the hump. The only bright side has been Vladimir Guerrero Jr. who has been on a tear and Dalton Varsha who leads the team with a bunch of home runs. But it's a new, like we mentioned in yesterday's video, it's a new rock bottom. Jays fans are upset. The media is upset. And at what point does Ross Atkins have to go? Will John Schneider be the first fall guy? Probably. John Schneider might be the first one to be fired. But if you're Ross Atkins and your management of uh, Rodgers, you own Rodgers. Do you want Ross Atkins to be able to fire another manager? They saw them fire, fire Charlie Montoyo because he lost the room. That was ultimately the right call. Is John Schneider going to be the guy who carries his team to a World Series? It's yet to be seen. He's made a lot of questionable decisions. He's made a lot of questionable bullpen decisions. But ultimately, at the end of the day, it's on the players to be able to play and on the players to be able to perform for John Schneider. Do I think it's all John Schneider's fault? Absolutely not. I don't think it is. And I think it's unfair to even assume that, that's, that he's the main reason. It's obviously the players. They've been unable to perform the way we've wanted them to perform all year here. And it's just gotten to a point now where the offense has been brutal. 
the pitching, starting pitching has been okay, but the bullpen especially has been so bad that what do the Jays do from here besides make some sort of changes? Call up the young guys. Call up Elvis Martinez. Call up Addison Berger. Call up maybe even Spencer Horwitz to replace Daniel Vogelbach, who's had a horrible season. Like, what are we waiting for if you're the Toronto Blue Jays? Because at this point, it's just becoming a joke. The Jays are becoming not necessarily a laughingstock of the MLB, but coming into this season, or you think about two years ago, this was a movie for the Blue Jays, all this stuff. And now they're last in the AL East. They don't have extensions in place for Vladdy or Bo or any of these guys. And it's looking, uh, I mean, last place in the division is staring them dead in the eyes. And some of the players came out and spoke out after yesterday's loss. Let's get into that for you guys right now. So you look at it here. This is Bo Bichette. We want to win, said shortstop Bo Bichette. So stressed out or not stressed out, there's not really anything you can do about it. We've got to keep on coming and putting our best foot forward, which I thought we did today. And I mean, the hitting definitely put their best foot forward. There's no doubt about that. But ah, the team, did the team put their best foot forward? I would argue not. The bullpen gave up nine earned runs. So the bullpen did not put their best foot forward there. And you look at uh, Kevin Biggio. He spoke out as well. He said, if you look at the standings and you look at, at how far back of 500 we are, I'm sure the fans feel it. But end of the day, it's one game at a time. How far back are we in the wild card? It's not even June yet. So we have a lot of baseball yet to play. A lot of great players in the clubhouse, and I still feel like today's a very good step forward. So yeah, the players are saying a loss is a very good step forward. Now we have John Schneider coming out, and let's hear what John Schneider had to say. It's easy to quit after that, and the guys did the exact opposite. There were so many good things that happened offensively, but overall, it was just a frustrating series here. Yeah, it was absolutely a frustrating series. The Jays lost three out of four against a Detroit Tigers team that they really should have won three to four against. They should have could have arguably made a case to sweep. Obviously, sweeping is very hard in the MLB because a bunch of teams are very good. So sweeping is very difficult. Winning three to four would have been the bare minimum coming in to make up valuable ground on the wild card because now the Jays are five and a half games back of a wild card spot. Yes, there's time. Yes, it's a June. It's not super late yet. But when you're looking at the schedule coming up, there's still a bit of a soft spot left. I mean, the Jays have to go out. We have to go out and sweep the Chicago White Sox if we want to have any sort of positivity going into the future series. Because if you look at the schedule after the Chicago White Sox series, you're looking at the Orioles. You're looking at the Yankees. And quite frankly, the Jays don't have time to waste anymore. You look at the schedule past, you look at the schedule ahead, and you look at the standings. The Jays have no more time to waste. They have to do things. And does that happen with changes? Does it happen with John Schneider being let go? Does it happen with them calling up some guys? At this point, you start DFAing people. You maybe even DFA Clement or you DFA Daniel Vogelbach, two guys who don't have options. And you start making changes, whether that's Spencer Horwitz, whether it's Elvis Martinez. I don't know what the answer is. Arelvis has been mashing. Nathan Lucas even. I know a lot of Jays fans don't want to see him up. He's hitting over 350 in AAA. Give him a chance. Change something. Because if they don't change something soon, the season is going to be completely out of hand. But that'll wrap it up. Let us know in the comments what your thoughts are on this. It's just getting to the point now where the Jays need to make changes. They need to pick it up fast because if not, Ross Atkins' job is on the line. John Schneider's job will be on the line. And this season could end up being a wash and the Jays can end up being sellers very, very soon. But that'll wrap it up. Let me know what your thoughts are on this new style of video. We're testing a lot of things, a lot of big things coming for you all. But thank you guys for watching. Make sure to hit the subscribe button. If you want to check out a video from yesterday, click on your screen now. We'll see you tomorrow.